are some things I wanted to talk about with you guys. Uh, number one, I've been noticing an increase in moto vloggers that are quitting it. They're just they're just stop doing moto vlogs. And it's not just moto vloggers, it's other channels out there too, other content creators. But what I don't understand is why they're leaving. And, and this is my view on it. For one, if you're on YouTube making any type of content, you probably got the start because you wanted to do it for fun. You didn't do it because, oh, there's a thought of money in it. For me, I did it because it looked fun. I love the idea of vlogging and I love the idea of writing. So I put the two together and I looked it up and sure enough, I found Jake the Garden Snake and everybody else. And I thought, wow, this is fucking awesome. I want to do that. And I did it because it's fun. I'm not doing it for a ton of subscribers or a ton of likes. I do it because I like to entertain people and I like to get out and do this. This is fun for me. This is relaxing. Some people at the end of the day get out a book and they write down what happened and they express their views and their thoughts and they keep that private. I'm not that kind of person. I like to tell people what the hell's going on. And I like to engage with people. And because of that, it confuses me when I see these people leaving and they're leaving because there's just no way to make money off of it. You shouldn't be doing it to make money. You should be doing it because it's fun or you enjoy doing it. Doing it strictly for money is wrong, in my opinion. Doing it to meet people and get out and have fun and to talk, just do whatever, that's why you should be doing it. You shouldn't be doing it because you want money out of it. I knew when I got into this that my chances of making money are slim to none. I mean, I have yet to get paid from this endeavor on YouTube. I have a channel which I have gotten paid from before, but I didn't put any effort into it because it wasn't about making the money for me. It was about doing something fun, and that channel kind of lost its fun for me. Uh, just what I was doing on the channel was cool while I was doing it, and then it kind of lost its, I don't know, it just kind of lost its appeal to me. I still like doing what I did on that channel, but it's, it's more about me being able to express what I'm doing with other people or share it with other people and show people that it's not just about the money, it's about actually getting out here having fun and talking to you guys. Um, I know my channel's small at the moment, but I still have the few people that I talk to and I love talking to you guys. Believe it or not, I do love talking to you guys. But um, it just confuses me when I see these content creators leaving because somebody said something or they don't think they're gonna make a profit off of it. It's not about that. I don't look at YouTube as a way of making a profit. I look at YouTube as a way of having fun. I was into YouTube way back in the day, back when the first viral videos were coming out of Chocolate Rain and everybody else. I didn't do, I, I, and I always wanted to get into YouTube just to make videos because I like making videos. I don't spend a lot of time editing my videos, as you guys can tell, because to me it's about more than just editing a video. It's, it's not all about the effects, it's sitting down on my bike and talking to you guys. That's what I enjoy doing. That's what I like doing with you guys. And that's what I'll continue doing. Uh, even if my channel somehow does skyrocket, I'm, I, I don't know how to explain it. I'm not the type of person that would let that change me, which I know it sounds like, yeah, yeah, everybody fucking says that. It's true, everybody says it. And I can't promise it, but I'm just not that type of person. I've never been. I've never been the popular kid in school or anything like that. I was always a kid that was picked on. I was in, I was in robotics. I mean, I wasn't popular or anything like that. I don't expect a lot out of whatever I'm doing. I just do it because I like to do it. Fuck, this shirt is making me itchy, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I do it because I enjoy doing it. I've never done something purely because I want to make a profit off of it. That's just not how I am or who I am. If that's what you guys are, whatever. I hope it works out for you and I wish you the best. But don't do it because you want to make money. Do it because you think it's fun and you want to do it.
don't ever do it because you think that's what you have to do. That's what you need to do to make money. You should never fucking believe that. And when people say, oh yeah, no, I make a lot of money on YouTube, you know what, they might. But chances are they probably don't. I mean, unless you're a PewDiePie or, hell, for the moto vloggers, Jake the Garden Snake, Moto Nosti, Walter Riffig, Do It With Dan, they're the ones making money. They gotta start in this early. And don't try to blame it on their personality or whatever. It's what people like to view, and they happen to find an audience. If you look at their earliest videos, they didn't really change much, they just kind of came out of their shell. So, when I hear people say, oh, it's because they cater to their audience. What the fuck if they cater to their audience? They're doing something for their audience because they like to engage with them. If they swear a lot or make stupid jokes, put meme faces on the page, that's for them. And yeah, I put meme faces on my fucking videos too, but I didn't do it. I don't do it constantly. I do it when I think it's appropriate or funny. That's it. That's the only time I do it. I need to stand up my ass itches like fucking crazy. Woo! The vibrations, they make my ass itch. But yeah, don't do it because you think that's what you need to do to make money. Do it because that's what you like to do. And hell, you might find an audience. I've got a small audience I'd like to think. There are people out there that like to watch what I'm doing. And uh, I know I put out a video asking you guys to send me questions and I'll answer them. And I will, I promise. It'll be in one of the next videos. There's another video I have to make that um, I don't know if you guys have heard of him or seen his channel. I suggest you go check him out. His name is Timage. And uh, he's another Arizona moto vlogger. And he sent me a challenge and I need to get around to doing it. I just haven't been able to. I haven't been able to really get out and ride as much as I'd like just because my ribs hurt from my wreck. And if I'm going to make one of those videos, I want to do it, I want to do a, like, proper video. I want to be on the bike riding, I want to have it set, and I want to know my answers before I do it. It's just one of those things for you guys. I don't want it to be a piece of shit thrown together video. It is one of my first questions to you guys, I guess. So, I don't know what the fuck it would be called. It's one of my first question videos that I want you guys to answer. So I'm not going to do it like a jackass and just throw it together last minute. I wanted it to have some fucking meaning behind it. I want to show that I'm doing it for you guys and God, it's fucking foggy and nasty out there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I want to show that I'm doing it for you guys and I, I appreciate that you guys watch my videos and like what I do. That's why I want to do it. No other reason.